Welcome back to the debate, Paul Merson and Matt Bowen alongside me. Cristiano Ronaldo, now easy for me to say, <laughs> who has now scored over 100 Champions League goals for his team, Real Madrid. We're looking at quite a phenomenal footballer, aren't we, fellas? Which is probably the understatement of the night. But the amount of goals that he scored in 95 appearances are quite remarkable stats, isn't it? Yeah, there really is. 101 goals for, just for one club. And 15 for Manchester United in the Champions League before he even went there. <laughs> it's staggering. I mean, we, we talked about the difference maybe between him and Messi and, and who's better and whom, but the one undenying factor that there is to, to the longe longevity he's had through his career and to the standards he must set himself mm -hmm. as a player, the discipline he must set himself. Yeah, look, everything is wrapped around that, but you know, in terms of day-to-day, -day, the way he prepares himself <coughs> just must be phenomenal to keep going the way he has. And you talk about the standards that he, set, he sets for himself. It, it very much feels like it's his show and everyone else... That's yeah. not dismissing the Real Madrid team by any stretch yeah. of the imagination, but he is the man, isn't he? Yeah, he, he is, and I think one of his quotes after the, the game last night was he's, he's almost like saying he's patting himself on the back again, look what I've done again, which... Listen, I've dug us out of a hole once more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that's, but, you know, you accept that. It's mm. just that if, for him, again, we talked about that difference between him and maybe a Messi was that, for me, Cristiano was... I don't know him, obviously, but as a person, but it seemed to me that the, it's the brand mm -hmm. that he's... Whereas Messi's maybe like the, I don't know, the working man sort of player mm -hmm. that everybody sort of loves to see, whereas Cristiano is almost that... The, he puts over this persona of like, the big brand and everything he's got around him. So that added to it as well. It's, it's just... It's, it's an interesting conundrum about the two mm. when you try and compare the two players, isn't no, it? No, it is. I mean... You just can't knock him, can you? I mean, that's just for not. In, like this is that's the creme de la creme mm. of competitions. Mm. You're playing against the best of the best, yeah. you know. And to keep on doing it, and what, what I like about him, and I, I don't like his selfishness. I don't. I think he's pretty selfish, but that's probably how he got to the top. But the easiest thing in the world is to get to the top. Mm. You know, we've seen it with people. The hardest thing is to stay there, and he has stayed there on a, on that level. You know, you look at the Man United players, the Skulls, your Gigs, your people like that, your Beckhams. Gary Neville's, you know, they got to the top and they stayed mm. there and stayed there and stayed there. You know, you can reel off a million players that have got there and then they just go, oh, well, that's that. Mm -hmm. And then they go, blah, 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 and they just drop. But for him to do what he's doing, yeah, I, I, personally, me, Messi, because I'm a, I, I like Purist. team players. I like, to, <laughs> I like team players. I, you know, when, he, when, he, when someone else scores, he never jumps on them. You know, when he does score, he always it's goes okay, that way. When he you never say goes a team player, Paul, would I be right in saying defensively? Cristiano would do more, you know, I'm, I'm cutting a few fine lines mm. here, but he does more defensively than Messi would do for his team? Uh, I think in time he would have. I don't think now. I think mm. he's got to that stage yeah. now where he's, he, he, he's not far away from the end. Because mm. yeah. when you're that good, you've got to finish quite quickly. Yeah. You know, you can't just keep on dragging it on because it, it, it won't look good. But I just think at the moment, I think Messi is... But they're playing a different way, Barcelona now. They're becoming a little bit efficient. You know, mm. they're not blowing teams mm. away, winning fives and sixes mm. every week. So, but I, I just, I like... When you watch the goals on, on Sky, you know, you sit indoors and you, you watch their best 100 goals or whatever, Messi's goals are phenomenal. Too I mean, he beats five players, he chips the goalie. I mean, you <laughs> yeah. look at Ronaldo's, a lot of them are woof. Yeah. You know, hit the balls, hit the lever off I'll the ball. I'll tell you an interesting thing about him. I looked at a couple of the stats today that... Out of all the goals he scores, 101 goals, Champions League, 86 of them are inside the penalty box. Mm, wow. Now, there's that thing whereby, <laughs> and people, I think Sean Paul says, sometimes maybe the bit longer in the tooth you get, mm. one, it becomes harder to get in there, mm -hmm. and two, sometimes you, you almost want to hang outside and like, give it to my feet rather than gamble, and that's the hard yards. Yeah. So it reflects the, the, the consistent desire that he's got to be in those positions <coughs> to, in to score the yeah. goals. They call them, like we used to call them, Mark, he was calling the hard yards are when, you know, your team's going forward and at pace on counter-attack maybe and and like as you said you, you, you can let them go forward and think well they'll pull it back or something will drop to me outside the penalty box and I'll come mm -hmm. into it the hard yards are, you know when your team's on top and you're winning but you've got to hunger to score again and score mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. and get between bodies where that's sometimes you can get hurt mm -hmm. clashes with keepers centre-backs but he's constantly been doing that and continues to do it the Just thing is with him big, he's a big game player uh -huh. yeah. you know even last night when the penalty you knew he weren't missing you know, you sit there and you thought, well, he, no. he's never going to miss. You know, some players I'm watching, I think, oh, yeah. you know, I bet you're worried here. <laughs> With him, you know, you just stone. And I just... But I think he's changing his game. You know, very rarely you get him now running at people, trying to, you know, he, he sort of half knows that he ain't running past mm. too so many you, people you, now. you're a messy man, then, are you? Yeah. 
Yeah, right? I, yeah. So how would, how would you compare when people talk about maybe the, the international side of things with Argentina yeah. compared to what Cristiano's done with Portugal? Yeah, no, I, that, that's my only worry, because I always think, you know, you go and do it at international level, you know, I, the best player I've ever seen in my lifetime is Maradona. He's the yeah. best I've seen, you know, because one, what he'd done at Napoli, and two, what he'd done with Argentina, mm -hmm. and he sort of dragged them along on his own. Until Messi does that. But Messi was player of the tournament the other, the yeah. other year. I know they didn't win it. So, yeah. It is such a hard one. I mean, they're so, they're so much, much, much better than everybody yeah. else. Mm. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It is ridiculous. Are they judged in more in different ways from an affection point of view? Yeah. You I, sense yeah. that people... Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think Mark hit the nail on the head. I mean, one's a brand, you know, and you think you can't get near him. And the other one's the working class man's player. You know, mm. you can imagine him... He, you can imagine him going and talking to someone. You know, Ronaldo, I just... But I, we've I can't all, we've all seen that one as well. I'm sure we've all seen that people are sat at home watching Real Madrid. And we've all seen that one where maybe Gareth Bale's playing and puts a bad ball in there or something, and you'll see you know Cristiano throwing his hands <laughs> up or gesturing to the crowd. And, mm. and I just think it's in that, it's our, in our nature, British people, that, that we don't like to see that. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. It's almost like come on, get on with mm. it. And, but, that's, but in spite of that, Ronaldo's the, the for best me. Field. Yes, and I, I, I only base on I said the very small margins. I base on the international situation where mm -hmm. he's gone and won a European Championship, and mm. ultimately was the one who won it for them. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, going mm -hmm. back to France and going from two different clubs. Mm -hmm. So he's had to make that transition from. He's you know, been being, over here and ripped it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. And, yeah, and, uh, listen, we know. Mm -hmm. You know, Messi would do exactly the same thing if he ever left Barcelona, mm -hmm. but Chris, Cristiano's mm -hmm. done it. That's right, you know, that, just those small... Maybe not on, on a cold night in Stoke, though, Mark, as everyone knows. No, I can't saying. remember that but ever happened. Look, if, when we, if we relate it back to the Premier League now, obviously two of the best players in the world and in La Liga, who's getting close in the Premier League, if anybody? Kevin De Bruyne? Different kind of player. Yeah, different. Mm -hmm. I, I think with Kevin, I, I think with Kevin, Kevin plays with great players. Mm -hmm. He plays with a lot of players. But I look at someone like Hazard, who does it on his own, Hazard. He virtually has to do it on his own. And then when he's done it, mm. everybody follows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you look at Chelsea and Hazard, he, he does it on his own. And then when he's done it, the players go, all right, we'll have a bit of this mm -hmm. now and, and now we'll play. Mm -hmm. I just think, I think, I think Hazard's the best. So the next opinion. best player behind those two? I, I, football? I do, yeah. I, I think with Kevin De Bruyne, I think he's a great player, but I think he's got a lorry load of great players. And, mm -hmm. You know, they're getting 75% of the ball. He's probably touching mm -hmm. the ball 75 times, 80 times in a game. Mm. You know, the way he can pass the ball, you know, before the end of the game, he's going to put at least 10 or 12 through the eye of a needle. Mm. It, it is hard. I mean... I, I, I have to... You, I, Paul Morrison, I shoot me down in flames. I actually think Harry Kane is getting to that level. Mm -hmm. If he's mm -hmm. not there already, well, so he'd be behind Ronaldo <coughs> Messi just, at the moment. He, for me, he's, 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 he's the top striker in Europe for me at the moment. And... and, and, and uh, be shot down. People think Aguero's done fantastic, and he has. Mm. But his overall contribution, what he gives for his team, I mean, you, he's playing in the team. We talked about what Tottenham did at Juventus the other day, mm. and he's still the talisman of that team, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, mm. he's surrounded by good players in there, but where he is now and his age and where he can get to as well, I think he's just. It wouldn't surprise me, uh, every Tottenham fan would dread to hear it, but it wouldn't surprise me if Real Madrid came in and yeah, went I'll, huge. You know, I, I sat there and watched the other night, and I watched him. And I don't fancy England for the World Cup. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I, think, I think they'll struggle. Mm -hmm. I thought they'd struggle. When I watched him the other night, I was sitting there, I was thinking, we've got a chance. We've got know? a chance, yeah. We've got a chance. Because yeah. this, this Italian defence is like, that is rock solid. That mm -hmm. is, that's as hard as you'll play against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was giving them a bit of a runaround. Yeah, yeah. A bit of a runaround, mm. to be fair. And I, I, I literally sat there and I thought, if he plays anything like that in the World Cup, I don't know who's going to live with him. Mm -hmm. I really don't know who's going to live with him. Yeah. So does, it, does it show the makeup of these players is, is slightly different, as you say, with some being team players, as you say about Harry Kane, you get the feeling mm. Eden Hazard slightly more indulged to be able to do what he wants. Yeah. Is it? It's not an exact science, is it, when we're judging no. what, a, what a, a player brings to a team? No, it's not. And as I say, okay, I'm a little bit old-fashioned as much. I tend to... We, I think Merce and I were talking off-air about the, the difference between Aguero and Harry Kane. And for me, of course... Most of Man City's build-up play is in that arc, sort of 25 yards out. And I think he's as good as I've ever seen in, in getting himself a yard of space and in anticipating mm -hmm. those clever little balls coming from De Bruyne and David Silva. But in, in terms of the rest of the pitch and the whole build-up play and everything mm -hmm. that contributes to being a team player as well as getting an unbelievable scoring record, Harry Kane's got everything, mm. I think. The, the way he leads the line, he's... the way he works <coughs> defensively. Mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 if you look at... I look up, tend to look at players, their attributes. What have they got? Are they quick? 
Can they head the ball? Have they got a good first touch? Can they play the back to goal? Can they run away from the ball? All those things, Harry just goes tick, tick, I think tick, he's found tick. a yard over the last yeah. year. Yeah. I really do. I think Because I thought that was probably his Achilles heel. Was, I didn't think he had that blistering pace. But no. He's very, he looks very deceptive. Yeah. You'd call him like a, a powerful runner yeah, rather than a, a quick runner. The lightning. But when, yeah. the more I watch him now, the more he's... You know, the, the ball... In the, I think it was the first half when... I think it was... Son went down the left and he crossed it. And, and he was there, and the defender just got there and checked, put it around the post. But, mm. I mean, he, he was leaving them alone. Mm. I mean, for me, I, I, honestly, watching him the other night, I thought, wow, we've got a chance to win so, the world. So when does... So we talked about <coughs> Ronaldo and Messi. They're playing in the Liga. They're seen as the best two players in the mm. world. Does, do we then get the best player in the world in the Premier League if Spurs go and win the Champions League, if England do well in the World Cup? Do we then say, this is where, across the board, we've got the best managers and the best players? Oh, I think we have any. I think we have over a consistent. You know, you talk about them two, the, and then the I don't. Strength over, is yeah, hard. the relative strengths <laughs> here. I mean, if you talk about the Liga, I think you talk about them two players. After that, I'm I'm looking now, and I'm, I think Suarez. I, Suarez has got to be up there. I mean, mm. phenomenal footballer. But it all depends. Whoever goes to the World Cup and turns it on on mm. on the big big stage, and that's mm. why I st I still hold Maradona up there as the best I've ever seen because mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Because, you know, when, you, when you're growing up and when you're older and when kids are growing up, everybody, you, you always judge the World Cup, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think so. And, and, and don't forget, we go back to what we talked about early on, you've got Paris Saint-Germain. You've got ne Neymar playing there now. You, you've got uh, uh, Cavalli there as mm. well. And, and, mm. But going back to, like, in... Oh, they lost 3-1, I know, to Real Madrid. But I think we still think... I, I still think that tie's not over because I think they've got the ammunition to go, go mm. and beat Real Madrid 2-0 comfortably on the mm. night if they want to, if things go right for them. And then, you know, in, in two weeks' time, you could be saying the same thing about, about those sort of players, mm. you know what I mean? I think yeah. we've, we've almost, like, dismissed them now, mm. the Neymars, because of that one result the other day, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But that, that could easily turn round and they get to the Champions League final and you're hailing him as mm. the best player in the world. All and again, what, what I said to Paul about... Because you mentioned earlier the, the strength of the Premier League. Surely these players in England are getting tested more often yeah, that's, and yeah. they've got to answer yeah. these questions yeah, more yeah. often. <laughs> Therefore, they should, yeah. at some stage, be classed as the best in the world. Yeah, because they're having to do it more consistently. Mm. You know, as we talked about, the, all, all those other leagues now, it's, you can have off days, you can have two or three games where you can play maybe an automatic pilot, 60, 70, 80 percent, your team's mm. still going to win. I don't know how many Premier League teams can do that now, mm -hmm. no matter who they're playing. Yeah, that, that, is, that is the problem. Mm -hmm. Over here, every, yeah, bottom of the league can be... Yeah. You know, top of the league. Mm -hmm. They you're probably not Man City, but bottom of the league. Well, no, tell a lie. Palace missed the penalty. Mm. Struggling Crystal mm. Palace missed the penalty against Man City to beat Man City. That, that, that don't happen in other countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen, and that and that's why you got to hold your hands up to Hazard, De Bruyne, Kane. You know, they're they're doing it week in week out in very difficult circumstances. Yeah. Again, we talking. Other thing comes to my mind, and I'm excuse me, I'm not, not name dropping, but yeah, we talked to Pep Guardiola in, in the dressing room that time. You and are. He was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get Mercy's listen, Pep story listen, in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he was talking to Mark Hughes, and I, I was sat in the corner. <laughs> but no, he said the same thing about we talked about the, uh, the, the Bundesliga, and, and the comparisons have been. Yeah, it's a physical league, but he said the main difference in this league is he said, and quote, nobody lays down and dies. Mm -hmm. mm. Nobody, no matter who you're playing. You know, mm. the, in, in these other leagues, Bayern Munich can go 1-0 up against, dare I say, Hoffenheim. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the game's over, they're laid down. He said, no, it doesn't matter who you mm -hmm. play in the Premier League, they'll keep coming, mm -hmm. they'll keep coming. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, they almost want to get to that last 15 minutes. That yeah. That's all their game plan mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they get that last 15 minutes, so then we can get at them and, and, try, and try and get something mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm.